right, so this is Wanderer that we're doing up next. Get a nice little rainfall ambiance. Um, this is a uh, this is an adventure game. A little bit of RPG to it, and the the story behind the game itself, as it were, um, like I I'm not actually positive I have the info right, but I think I do. Um, this was like going to, I should actually show it. This is going to be like an episodic kind of like longer game essentially. Um, and like they did a Kickstarter, it didn't succeed, I believe. Um, like just in general, like they, they basically stopped development. Um, Is my understanding. I could be wrong, but it's, I believe that's what I I saw. Either way, um, that sure is an emo wef. <clears throat> uh, let's get her started. I hope I'm not going to have to read aloud text. The strange thing, the feeling of being lost in a familiar place. The feeling of falling through the sky. It's like an old dream you've had again and again. Been there a million times, but you don't know which way to go. Truth is, you never had a choice. You were on the path of the start. All you had to do was walk it. Gravity tends to be a one-way path. It's a little... it's not very anime. It's very pixel right now. Update required. We'll do it later. Mm. Okay. Okay, I do have control. Is this better? <laughs> I I can gamepad. I shouldn't put the gamepad in the cup holder because that makes it no makes noise. I apologize. Cold steel littered with cold bodies. Sorry about that. <laughs> old stale blood pumps through old tire veins. This, ah. That sure is a plate in the background. I think. Like, the rest of the art is pretty smooth, pretty solid, and then I'm just looking at this. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Could be a body bag. It's probably a body bag. Um, so we're getting, I guess, a little bit of mind screw right now. I'm, f I'm feeling a little mind screw going on. I mean, if he did just wake up from cryogenic sleep, I can imagine that'll do it. Way, isn't it? It always happens.
Welp. That was a thing. We going? Right. Light isn't warm. Because it's not a sun. It's a planet. Planets do not give off light. They reflect it. Going fracture in the world. Well, that's encouraging. The save point. That's what save points look like in the world. Glass shards. Let's talk to the glass shards. Uh, need something to pick it up if you want any of them. Okay. I get glass. Nothing to combine it with. Oh, okay. He was in a straight jacket, and now he's not. Torn restraints added to inventory. Nice sized piece of razor sharp space age polymer. All right, so we got a knife. But that was a gunfight, so don't bring the knife. Uh, won't help you out. Three men in orange are hunched over the far side of the room. Light is cold, but not as cold as before. Uh. We're going to be fighting, aren't we? Also realize the game might be a little quiet. Boy, is this real life, then? One of you assholes dozed me when I wasn't looking. I can't even do a... I can't even do a voice tonight. Did you just say what I think you said? Mm hmm. Administ... We, I, could, I could administrate a stabilizer. I could drug you and then we could talk. Um, yeah. That's, that's an approach. Oh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to shiv a boyd, aren't we? All right, fight time. With a heavy brow lumbers forward, his task simple. Mine just barely equipped for it. Boop. Knife boop. Should have been afraid, I suppose, with the noise and thing. The text actually goes by pretty quickly. Also, I am not controlling any of this. This is all cutscene. Shit. <laughs> uh. You look a lot like the guy with the head. Hmm. Okay, so people want our scarred head. Hmm.
your psyche. So I guess they're people with like telekinetic stuff. And then Jin, I guess, has a radio in our head. A lot is a lot is happening. All at once. How do we wish to uh do interact? Do we growl? Do we groan or do we grunt? I don't know what's a rare. What would that fit as? Kind of a growl? Kind of a, a, a meager growl? Maybe a grunt? Eh, growl. Apparently our head on a pike is worth a large amount of money. So there's that. That's an affirmative gurgle if I've ever heard one. <sighs> yeah, I guess Rook is our player character. A mechanical tiger with flaming wings. And lightning for teeth. Jin has an has an imagination. Also, Boyd's other henchman is just dead now. And then now there's Lucy. A lot's happening in this scene right now. Now, Brad, like, we got a whole party in our heads. Just let's start with your hyper lucid pal down the way. All right. Try to not die. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's try and not die. We have a lucid computing interface. Looks like you're engaged in potentially mortal combat. <laughs> Thanks, Clippy. You'll locate a real-time monitor of all your vitals. Where's my stab him button? Stamina. Melee. Start with a quick attack. You engage your swing during the flash to throw a perfect strike. Continue to attack until the round timer expires. Keep it up, I'm cheering for you. Be sure to kill him. Defensive posture. Blue overlay means they're. I, yeah, like I'm not really gonna try for the crits. Oh, okay, shoulder buttons. guard, but I guess I was just like going too hard with the attack. Red outline is a heavy attack, so dodge that shit. It's a nice combat system, honestly.
It's like a little turn based. Not like exclusively. Jin, you're helping. You're you're helping. I was too eager on pressing a button. It's basically like match the color. And and that does it. Jin's talking about murdering babies, it's it's whatever. Do we let her poke around our brain? I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. I feel like this is the kind of world where that's okay. Hey, Petricide. Yeah, the rock stars were a buck each. <laughs> but like, I'm, I'm getting a few. He's shanking with the best of them may have had slash will have a psychotic break at any moment. Jin, you're off your meds. You literally told us that. Who are you to judge? Mackenzie, you all right? Ah, so that's Mackenzie. Okay. Uh, just listen. Need you on deck three. Now Alex, did we have Alexi a moment ago? I don't know what's going on. Granted, I'm going through this slightly, slightly quick, but they're just introducing characters. Mere stasis emission syndrome, and you just killed multiple people. Uh, who are you? Yeah, you can try to calm your mind and, you know, focus on each breath. Maybe you should have done that before murdering people? Anyway, very strong sense of style, very strong sense of atmosphere. Fail? Yeah, fail. Um, sometimes adrenaline makes you do stupid things, yeah? Fight to Ganymede. Watch the stars and try to keep my eyes open. Sud I will point, like, Wef, you make a good point, like, the graphic style bounces around a lot. And, like, in some moments that makes a lot of sense. Like, jumping between flashback, current, and, like, having a lot of disorientation around that, that's fine. But, like, in this one shot, the characters are very pixelated, and the background is, like, nice and smooth. Um, I've mentioned this on other games as being, like, a little bit of a, a bug. Like, kind of annoys me sometimes. I have no clue who these characters are. I thought this was the guy that we were a moment ago, now that he's, like, rested up. But no, completely different people. And then, like, we're in first person with Akira? 
I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're playing as multiple characters. Uh, which actually is not a bad approach to an adventure game. Um, I, th I think there's like a little bit of confusion on my side. It's like, what's, what's going on? Uh, because there wasn't like a strong, eh, I don't know. The cutscene was a decent indication that we were going somewhere completely different. But it very easily could have been the same characters like later on, so eh. Da, da, da. Step two, words. Adjectives, verbs, nouns. What you got? Uh felt lost. <clears throat> A lot lost. Kin has all the answers. It... I mean, I'm more of a whiskey girl myself, but whatever. <clears throat> Get back. All right, let's let's interrogate. Oh, we got lots of options. I like I like this this dialogue system, honestly. I would I would say it works. Uh Yeah, it felt right murdering those people. I mean, this is a big uh, You know what? I like I like Jin. I like I like this character. This is a good character. Can we just have a game that's just Jin? We'll start. Station started losing power a couple hours ago. <laughs> yeah, that explains why there were some violent crazed punks that we had to kill. Uh, da, 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 da. This is just a large exposition dump. All names, all irrelevant. Typically, a good place to start when asked your name is with your name. So, so we could just tell them to fuck off. That's an option. Uh, I feel like saying, so what do you charge is like, just barely flirting? Like if, if Solid Snake said that, that would be flirt. So we're gonna go with it. I'll give you the I like your face discount. All right. Yeah, we're we're breaking out of jail. <laughs> it was alarmingly easy to help a pr like. You don't really have to convince prisoners to break out of jail. It's it's a whole thing. Um, yeah, we have to go through all of these. Um, sarcasm. Jin is overjoyed. Huh. Okay. So there's a reputation system. Oh, Jeff's dead. Sorry, Wef. Hmm. <laughs> All 
All right, we have a, uh, a to-do list sort of thing. A. Locker door has been ripped clean off. Good. Hmm. I'll take stuff. Narcotic vapor drug. The, the heal. Take a crowbar. The clothes, though. Oh, wait, I see. I see. Hmm. Just crowbar the thing open. And now, pants. Critical stasis emission generally results in total identity death within 24 hours. Womp. Make a malleable. Install some basic etiquette monitoring software on your ENU. Talking with humans may be tough with a Swiss cheese brain like yours, so it'll help keep track of what kind of personality you're keen on rebuilding. Hmm. Hmm. There's a reasonable amount of depth in here. Uh... Intimidation, charm, leadership... Uh... Go leadership. Oop. Not a bad animation. Talk to the service droid. Veteran Northrop. Entrepreneur corn farming mogul. We are until lockdown is over. Hmm. Deception. Ah. Replace panders to, to an imaginary roving figure. I like these characters. I like these characters. F... Uh... We'll do the 2 FP one. Give it a go. Well, so much for that shit. <laughs> All right, so we'll do the uh, the Gordon Freeman approach. In is bothered. Well, like it didn't work, so. What do you expect? <clears throat> Can I interact with this thing? I can I can crouch? Derp, thank you for the raid, dude. How's it going? Oh, do I have to, like, go through the ex- Yeah, I had to go through all the expedition. Brah. Deck five. The top level ID tag. All right. 
You regret that, Brooke. Ah, oh, Jin. Uh, Fallout 76 is not one that, like, I was super interested in, personally. Need from your left eye. This is a very futuristic game. Um, but I mean, if it's, if it's fun, it's fun. I guess we're just headed this way. Modular chambers arranged in tower formations line a massive rack on the wall. All right then. Oh, sure, but I can't examine the dead person. Architecture is super interesting. Dead people, not so much. <clears throat> Guess I should ask this kid? The dead kid? Like... Dude, you might want to get back on your meds. At some point, you're making less sense than me. Signal router will bridge the connection. The police are likely to find one is on the inside of a security droid unit. Well, guess what we smashed? Him. <clears throat> Speed run strats. Going that way. Oh yeah, all about that bunny hopping. <clears throat> it's medical where we just were, I'm guessing. Yeah. I don't know if it actually is faster. This is not where we were, also. I don't... can't interact with any. Hi? Sneaky sneak. Like, dude, if we need a, a droid body, where one is, except the game won't let me go there. <clears throat> the uh the adventure game side of things i'm going to swap out partly because i'm slightly stuck uh and partly because we're hitting like the half hour mark and i want to keep things flowing um but that is like an interesting interesting little game um i'm sure if you're willing to sit down read all of the dialogue go through all the characterization i have a feeling the characters are pretty interesting just for what we've seen so far, like, there's a bit going down, uh, that, like, I'm, I'm kind of fond of. You know, those are, <clears throat> those are nice characters. Again, it sounded like that was supposed to be the first episode in a longer series of thing, 
Um, and that first episode, like, seems like it was going to be a long game in and of its, itself. Um, and then the full thing just, like, never, never happened. Anyway, uh, but that is uh, free on itch.io if you want to play through the rest of it yourself. Um, there's a thing you can do.